Welcome back to Eat and Talk. It's Yustra. And I'm Gilbert, and we're back with another episode of Eat yeah. and Talk. So today we got some lovely, talented ladies. We have Miss Libyanka and Miss Ice here today. Libyanka is a singer, an artist. She's going to tell us a lot about herself today. Please don't forget she's from Cameroon. She, <laughs> shout yes. out to Cameroon Please because, you know, Gilbert, that. that's his country. So shout out to <laughs> Cameroon. Um, we are so glad that you introduced us here today. You know, um, Ice just was like, hey i got an artist and she's the shit so um <laughs> you guys need to bring her on today so we're gonna get to know more about her um her story what we got going on in the future so let's dive in so um first and foremost um tell us about your background where did you grow up um what school did you go to how did you get into singing when did you realize you had this talent so start with us i should have brought a map a map. Yeah. For that what? Would have been very nice. For yeah. Cam, oh, Cameroon. Yeah, so that would have been so it nice. And then because, show yeah. them. Like, it's <laughs> That's right where here. It was. <laughs> yes. oh, go ahead. But um, I grew up in Cameroon and went to school for the most part mm -hmm. in Cameroon. Uh, I went to St. Agnes. That's a primary school, and I went to Lourdes. That's a boarding school. Mm -hmm. I figured out singing is something I wanted to do. Like primary school mm -hmm. so I was between ages seven mm -hmm. and eight mm -hmm. and I had a babysitter at that time she had an amazing voice wow. Victoire every time she would walk around the room she's singing and I'm just like oh she sounds so beautiful <laughs> and so you know I just started singing I was like okay yeah and I just took off from there went to wow. Lourdes singing in church yeah. came to America still singing wow <laughs> writing music you still singing in church here in America <laughs> yes you know. before, before it was every Sunday now it's like you know, <laughs> the availability is not that much yeah. <laughs> so what, what did your parents think yeah. when you started singing well, first of all, I hid it from them. I hid it from them for a while. I just wrote in my diary. I was like, I don't want anyone to know I can sing yeah. for some reason. Yeah. But um, once my mom found out, she was like, oh, that's that's amazing. Join the choir. You know, mm -hmm. yeah, that's amazing. And my dad, you know, he was like, well, I'll believe you when I hear it. <laughs> because he was here in America mm -hmm. while we were in Cameroon. Mm -hmm. So then when I came here, he was, he heard me singing in the bathroom mm -hmm. and he was stunned. Mm -hmm. Just He's like, oh. Okay. So How old were you support. when you came here? <sighs> Twelve. Okay, wow. Mm -hmm. So you're like yeah. in middle school. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's yep. like an interesting time because it's like you're starting to go into your teen years and the hormones are developing and finding out who you are. Yes. So that's awesome. Mm -hmm. So how did you two meet? <sighs> well, at the time, around the time we met, I was um, in a... Collective. It's not a label, yeah. A creative collective called Ozone Creations. Mm. And um, my best friend was also part of it as well, Young Metro. Mm -hmm. And so um, over time... Shout out to Young Metro, by the way. Mm -hmm. Shout out to Young Metro. Before I get carried away. <laughs> but um, she was managing him at the time. And mm -hmm. so over time... Um, we left Ozone, but she was still managing him, mm -hmm. and then uh, we became friends first. Mm -hmm. And then the three musketeers, me, her, mm -hmm. and Young Metro, we were just rolling together mm -hmm. everywhere. We lived together for a bit, mm -hmm. and then after a while, she's like, you know, we decided to try it out and mm -hmm. see where it was, and here we are. Wow. So now you're under ice. IC Entertainment? Ice Entertainment? Not under IC yeah. Entertainment. I'm not uh, necessarily under a label or collective, no. but I do run a collective as well with Young Metro, okay. Westside Creek. Shout out to Young Metro again. Again. <laughs> That's, okay. The That's king. amazing. So do you write music as well? I mean, of course you do. Okay. Yes, ma'am. I write all my music. Okay. And so <laughs> is this based off how you feel? Because, you know... I, I wish I was a singer, and I remember when I was younger, I used to just like write stuff, but then I would try to rap it, and I was like, "This is not, this is <laughs> not working now." So, um, what inspires you to write, uh, and how often do you write music? I write music. I that's that's a process every day. Mm. That's a, that's just an everyday habit for mm -hmm. me. Um, but inspiration is pretty much my life. Mm -hmm. Somebody pissed me off. I mean, that's the song right there. Yes. Somebody you have a breakup sad. song? Yes. <laughs> is, is that a question? Of course I have a breakup song. Know. I love it. When you come in contact with Yahoo Boys, you know, you, there, there, needs, there needs to be a song that, you know, a song needs to come out. 
<laughs> so I love it. Yes, no, that's just that's just that's the process. Awesome. My life and lives of others. So, so, what's one song that you wrote that's resonated with you, touched you? Your favorite all-time song that you can sing anytime. <sighs> That's a hard question to answer because every new song that I write mm-hmm. is just that for me. Mm-hmm. So, uh, can I it's say hard. all my music? It's okay. all my music. Okay. I love There's nothing wrong with saying it's all your music. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, I mean, you know, if it's all your that. music, that's amazing. So, yeah. so, what's the challenging part of being an artist? The challenging part, to be honest, is just the pool of connections. Sometimes um, people don't take it as serious as I do, and it's just the hardship is finding people who take it as serious as I do. As mm-hmm. far as if it's a producer or um, it being an instrumentalist, whatever, like people that I come in contact with to create, they have to take that just as serious as I do. Because if you don't, I can sense that and I'm like, okay, you mm-hmm. need to, let's pick up the piss here, let's get this going. But so far that's... Do you, think in, do you think in Minnesota, Minnesota lack that support system for artists? Ah, <sighs> well... Definitely, just you know, just just a little bit. I think we're growing. I can I see think that. We're I growing. Think, yeah, yes. I can see that. Um, uh, before, I remember, like just a couple years back, it wasn't it wasn't as supportive as it, it is now. So um, I definitely appreciate that. Yeah. I think um, the community is starting to recognize the That's, talent yeah. that they have within you know us and not just outsourcing for that you know yeah. we already have it here so i think we're coming around realizing and that's that. something that i noticed too i think after like 2021 i think there's going to be more shows mm-hmm. there's going to be more support from the crowd like you said the community is starting to notice that yes. it's actually talent mm-hmm. absolutely so, yeah. so i mean you know minnesota it's an interesting place <laughs> uh, um what they do right and <laughs> when it comes to our peers and all that so i want to know what has been some obstacles for you and how did you overcome those challenges as an artist here in Minnesota, Here in Minnesota. My obstacles that just people, as far as my artistry, people were just delaying with stuff sometimes, mm-hmm. you know, whether it be oh, a video shoot or a photo shoot, it just takes so long for you to send me those mm-hmm. pictures, and it's just okay, this is not gonna work for me. So, um, overcoming that, I just kept browsing and mm-hmm. finding people, and I find people that okay, I'm like okay, at least I know this person takes it serious. Mm-hmm. So take the pictures. Mm-hmm. If you can't edit them, I I'll edit the pictures. Mm-hmm. Don't worry. If that, beautiful if that's what pictures, takes your by time the way, work, on your you. page. <laughs> that's, you got you got beautiful. a good. I don't, I don't, and I want to touch base on that. You got a good manager though, because yes. oh, that's yes. what she is on. Yes, beautiful. She's yes. really on her case it. when yeah. it comes to everything. So, wh- what are some artists that inspired you? Mm. Or who I should say, not what. <laughs> a lot, a lot of artists inspire me more so in the way in the way they work mm. and the way they plan and move accordingly. Mm-hmm. So, for example, I know this is a very common name, mm-hmm. but she's very common for a reason. Mm-hmm. Beyonce. Okay. Yeah. The way that woman moves. Yes. You know, it's not necessarily oh I want to be just like her. Mm-hmm. It's just this is a boss yeah. that knows what she's doing and takes control of her like her mm-hmm. career is her queendom that's yes. that's she runs that shit nobody else yep. and that's that's how you know i'm moving with my career as mm-hmm. well so I love you know it. i have Girl, manifest hands, but it yes, yes speak it into existence mm-hmm. i love it uh, okay so i want to know for you also you know what's been challenging like being a manager you know trying to get her some shows trying to make sure that um, there's no hiccups with the people that you guys meet, whether it's photographers or, you know, et cetera. Like, tell us how your journey is. Well, for me, it's just a process with everything. Mm-hmm. You can't really avoid hiccups. Mm-hmm. Hiccups happen regardless. Mm-hmm. People make mistakes, people delay, but mm-hmm. at the end of the day, like me as a manager and her as an artist, we just strive, we keep on going. Mm-hmm. If something happens, it messes up, we're gonna fix it the next day, we're gonna mm-hmm. fix it in about a week. Mm-hmm. And we just like really just keep on pushing. We just make sure we're not gonna give up. At mm-hmm. the end of the day, what needs to get done needs to get done, so yeah. we get it done. Yeah, what's your proudest moment? To- Oh, my proudest so moment. So far. There will be more proud moments, but so far. <laughs> okay. Honestly, my most proud moment was recently at um, the show that I had hosted, Minnesota mm-hmm. Most Wanted 2.0. Okay. She performed um, her single that's coming out, Special Love. I'm mm-hmm. excited. Which oh, we're gonna, DJ which I want to hear a little bit about. I want to hear your voice soon. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> but she was performing Special Love. And I promise you, I was in the crowd. Like, that was my daughter. Like, forget it being my artist. I was like, oh, my gosh. Look at her. She yeah. looks like a superstar. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Mm-hmm. And so that made me feel good. She That's did amazing. Good. The band did amazing. Like it just came together, and I was really happy for her too. Amazing. So what yeah. decided? To, what what made you go this route? 
Well, with me, I've always loved music. I've always yeah. loved art. I've always loved creation, and I've always been a helper. Mm -hmm. But I've never been someone who's like, um, I'm gonna make music or I'm gonna go create music. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I was just like, you know what? I want to start an entertainment company. Mm -hmm. You know what? I'm gonna manage artists. Mm -hmm. But really, it was Metro, mm -hmm. um, our like best friend. He was just like, can you be my manager? Mind you, I'm a business student. Mm -hmm. I really don't know nothing about anything about music besides mm -hmm. I like listening to music. Mm -hmm. And he was like, can you be my manager? I was like, sure. Mm -hmm. Somebody else asked me, can you be my manager? I was like, sure. Mm -hmm. And long story short, I'm not managing them anymore, but mm -hmm. I got this gem, so exactly. life is good. Yeah. I'm, she I'm is your gem. You feel she me? is your gem. Yeah, so <laughs> hang on to that one. <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing. Uh, you know, so you came from Cameroon at the age of 12. Uh, um, I just want to know, like, being an African immigrant, uh, how was it for you to adapt to the lifestyle here when it comes to even your music and, mm -hmm. like, your style and the things that you went through? Well, first of all, when I came here, I was like, these people just don't know how to just, if something's bothering you, open your mouth and say it's bothering you. Oh, if somebody dad. pisses you off, just say please, I don't like when you do that, it's pissing me off. Like, it's just, <laughs> the assertiveness Absolutely. was not there. So mm. me coming in, you know, I leave from a place where the assertiveness is damn near Straight rude. Forward. <laughs> so I come here and I'm like, you know, just moving about how I do back there mm -hmm. and people are just acting, you know, passive aggressive and stuff. Mm -hmm. I'm like, I don't understand that language. Mm -hmm. You're you, you, you gonna have to talk. Yeah. Open your mouth and speak, that's yes. all. Yes. Uh, um, but that that was really it for me because after a while I was just like, well, I'm just gonna keep riding my own wave. Mm -hmm. I cannot be like these people around me mm -hmm. because I, we don't come from the same walk mm -hmm. of life. <laughs> I don't have no choice but to just keep mm -hmm. moving the way I do. So mm -hmm. that was just that's how awesome. It is. Yeah. Uh, no, I love it. Well, I don't know about you, but I really want to hear you sing just a little bit. Oh, uh, really? Yes, I really <laughs> do. Uh, I would love to hear you sing. So um, give us a little snippet of the song that you performed um, a couple weekends ago. Oh, yes. special love. Yes. <laughs> I'm going to clear my throat to see some mango juice. Let, go ahead. Not the mango <laughs> juice. The juice. <laughs> the mango juice. <laughs> mm. Let's hear it. All right. I wanna lose myself, oh, when I look in your eyes, oh, your eyes, oh, oh, I wanna lose control of my body, touching your body. Come my place, come my place, oh, strip my body naked in my bed, in my bed, oh, oh. Now don't delay, don't delay, oh. Drop your trousers, leg it on my face, on my face, oh, oh. Break me down like it got no sense. No problems, all that nonsense. Trap me up with a rope in hair. Putting pressure on my neck. It's your snack, baby boy, it's fresh. You see me right through your lens. I'm jumping over your fence. Please me, please me, please, I beg, oh. Yes. Wow. Wow. That's your That's it. That's it. Hold on to that one. I was like, this listening. That was amazing. Uh, you Thank have you. a beautiful voice. Thank uh, you. Oh, my goodness. That's so, sure. um, you know, we went through a pandemic and everything. Mm -hmm. How did you guys survive during that time? What did you guys do as artists? I know. On Zoom? You know, I want to know what kept you guys motivated. Like, you uh, know, it was a time, a tough time for all of us because we were all secluded, you know. Yeah. So how did that affect you as an artist? Well, for me, I'm not gonna lie, my mental mm -hmm. was not working well for mm -hmm. like the first half of quarantine. Mm -hmm. My creation has, has slowed down mm -hmm. and just being stuck in that radius that I was in mm -hmm. was just not working mm -hmm. for me for a bit, but mm -hmm. we got it to work, you know? Mm -hmm. With God, everything is mm -hmm. possible. Amen. So Absolutely. Eventually, I got out of, you know, my mental hold mm -hmm. and creation just kept moving from there. Just being in the studio, mm -hmm. being in the studio, mm -hmm. just letting out everything, mm -hmm. whether it being frustrations because shit happened in mm -hmm. my life this past year. So mm -hmm. just letting that out on the tracks and stuff yeah. was cool. So that's just how I went about just creating, creating some yeah. posts here and there. Yeah. But creating mostly. That's Did the awesome. breakup song happen during quarantine? Oh my or? god, Gilbert. No, that one was living quarantine. Oh. That was before quarantine. <laughs> <laughs> it was before. It was before quarantine when things were moving. Okay, mm -hmm. so let me ask you. So I know um, before we started an interview, you said you started the business this in 2020. Mm -hmm. So how... And she's in school. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. For me, I'm, I'm a hustler. I'm a natural born hustler. I believe in God. Mm -hmm. I, I trust him to see my way through everything. Mm -hmm. So I just like was like, God, 
I'm starting a business during quarantine. Help me to see. Mm-hmm. I threw my first show November 14th. It was a success. I sold over the tickets I was supposed to even sell, honestly. Mm-hmm. And people came. People had a good time. A lot of people so were on my cool. underneath my Instagram post. They were like, your business is going to go to hell. You're going what? to hell. Jeez. They were <laughs> mad because I threw a event during Stay quarantine. Mad. Stay, Stay mad. Stay mad. I was like, I'm so sorry, but like, um, Medusa is open, um, whatever the clubs are, I don't go out like that, so mm-hmm. what the clubs are, they're open, mm-hmm. so, and you're mad at me for throwing my little event, like, mm-hmm. music brings joy. Just don't joy. come. <laughs> Just don't <laughs> come. Oh, I hate Literally, I'm like, right. music brings joy, these yeah. artists are dope, like, if you don't want to come, you don't have to come, mm-hmm. like, you don't have to attack me under a post. Mm-hmm. So really, when it comes to just, like, how did I do it, I literally just did it. Mm-hmm. I put my pride aside, I put my busyness aside, and I was just like, I'm gonna get this done, mm-hmm. and I want to do it, so, yeah. Okay, so, um... So when it comes to the shows, how do you pick the artist? I know she's always gonna headline the shows, but <laughs> she's I, she's really not a headliner, <laughs> no, 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 but no, no. she always is a part of the show. Obviously, because it's my yeah. artist. A lot of people have looked at me like, "Why is this person performing again?" Or that person. I'm really, like, really, are, you are, you, "Are you are you hosting the show respectfully?" <laughs> like, but honestly, I just go on Instagram and just like the same way I found you guys. I just mm-hmm. go and I look and I listen to people's music. I see some people always send me like, "Oh, um, I just check out this artist and I listen to their music and." Honestly, I listen to it and I base off if I like it. Yeah. If I don't like it, I'm gonna be like, okay, I'm gonna ask Metro or ask like Libby, like, mm-hmm. am I tweaking? Is this a really good artist? And I'm just not hearing mm-hmm. it. They'll answer it and we move forward accordingly. Mm-hmm. I, I got some idea. I got some artists myself too. I'll send them your way. Yes, please send them yeah. my way. Uh, yes. I'll send them your way. You can yeah, take care so. of them. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, I mean, this, I, I'm looking at your Instagram page, first of all. Um, you're a model, too. <laughs> well, yes. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Like, have you thought about also doing modeling, like, professionally? Well, because uh, you are beautiful <laughs> Thank like you. this Thank is very, very natural much. and this is this is yeah this is awesome Thank so how you. do people con- i'm sure your dm must be going crazy after that show last weekend uh well if my dms are blowing <laughs> when he's if he's if he's business related as far as oh we want you to do i'm just mm. she she's <laughs> gonna have her, to her manager before she was there i had to handle all oh, those conversations dope. but She's the I'm I'm the creative. She's the business, mm. and we work together. So that kind of gets me to my next question. So when it comes to being an artist, mm-hmm. do you think this pride of wanting to do everything by yourself? Definitely, because oh. I had that pride not too long I ago. I had to beg her asking for um, help. Um, well, yes. that's an African I, thing too. Uh, yes, mm-hmm. I definitely had that pride because I've been managed before. I've before her there were three managers before her and so excuse my language but getting <laughs> fucked over as far as my music my relationship with my music is very is very dear to me it's okay, very sacred good. hold on to so, that you know when when that is messed up in any way you're getting fired <laughs> all three of them i fired them okay. because i was just like i don't think you're gonna fire this one i don't think i'm gonna fire ice i don't think i'm gonna fire her no but you know it was just the um that pride also came with just the fact that i don't believe that anybody can do this Mm -hmm. can um execute my vision the way i can you Mm -hmm. know like they don't see the way i see it so i might as well just do it my damn self Mm -hmm. but um with working with my communication skills when i came across her and we started working i was like okay communication skills is very important here because if she crosses a boundary, that's because she didn't know mm-hmm. about that boundary. Mm-hmm. So I have to set all of that straight, which we were already on mm-hmm. the same page about that. Mm-hmm. And that was being communicated to. So it's just mm-hmm. things are moving sweetly as far as I know. Wow. Moving well. Back to the manager. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so what, how do you guys, how do you separate being the artist and the manager when it comes to making and decisions? And friendship as well. That's true. Well, we're just, honestly, I see us as two responsible people. Like, when it comes to business, don't play with my business. Mm -hmm. When it comes to my friend, don't play with my friend. Mm -hmm. And it could switch any second Mm -hmm. if it's depending on the conversation. Mm -hmm. But, like, I also just respect her as a human being. So I would never want to, like, overstep her boundaries. I would Mm -hmm. never want to say, you're doing this show or we're doing this. Like, it's never really that. It's, Mm -hmm. hey, Libby, I think this is a good idea. What do you think? Or she'll be like, hey, Ice, I want to do this. What do you think? Mm -hmm. Or, like, if we're doing an EP, hey, let's sit down. Let's think about topics. Topics, let's go and move forward like it's never like a you're doing this because I told you so mm-hmm. like I just don't believe in that I think that's weird energy mm-hmm. it's just like I don't know it all 
she don't know it all. So if we put our minds together, don't we get more done? Isn't it more effective? Mm -hmm. I think so. Absolutely. Communication is essential, and that's what's going to build a partnership. And you're lucky because she's a very straightforward person where you don't have to Mm -hmm. guess what she's thinking Mm -hmm. or you don't get a runaround because that's where a lot of teams and partnerships and management artist relationships break up because the artist is either too afraid to speak up Mm -hmm. or, you know, a manager feels like they have a power, so they overstep their boundaries. But, like, with you guys, you know, she's like, this is what I want. And you're like, this is what I can offer and what I want. And you guys, you know, meet halfway. So that's perfect. And that's lovely. So my last question for you guys really is what's next? What's next for Ice Entertainment? What's next (laughs) for Libyanka? Where are we heading here in the next few years? Uh, yeah, next few years, I just know that where God is going to take me, it's going to be unbelievable. That is that is what I know. Yeah, there are there's just there's a lot in the works, um, mm-hmm. but certain stuff I cannot speak about. Don't speak about but, it. That's um, good. No, go ahead. Let her just, speak about it. <laughs> you don't, oh, you don't, you don't I'm want to get us money, no, please. No. <laughs> um, but <laughs> no, uh, my. Career by itself will be working well. I see entertainment finna be busting. That's what I know. Mm-hmm. Westside Creative, which is what I run on the side too, mm-hmm. as well with Metro, mm-hmm. is gonna be running. Shout well. out to Metro again. Every Shout where? Yeah. Metro. Oh, we gotta get Metro in here next oh. time. <laughs> yeah. Metro is next. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> that's for sure. Yeah. Um, but yeah, that's just just greatness. That's amazing. Greatness. I love it. Anything you want to add on? March 19th, come out. It's going to be at, oh, I can't even tell you guys the location. I'm not supposed okay. to. So you're, the flyers are coming out on Monday. So March 19th, be there, 6 p.m. It's going to yes. be a Minnesota 3.0. Ooh. Libyanka's going to be there, wanted. obviously. Ooh. Well, follow the pages. We'll definitely link the Instagram and the YouTube. Uh, this video probably might not be released by them, but we're definitely going to make mm-hmm. sure that we promote it in between them. Yeah. So, yeah. yes. Anything else you want to add on, just, Gilbert? Just keep on doing what you're doing yeah. as a manager. Mm-hmm. Keep on doing what you're doing as an artist. Put camera on the map. <laughs> yeah. um, I Always. wish we could talk more about that. We have camera on artists. <laughs> <laughs> definitely, you guys can stay in touch for sure. Um, you know, we always say we love to have our artists and like everybody that we interview back. We love to see the progress and what's next. So mm-hmm. we'll definitely love to have you guys One back. more question. Oh. How do we book her? <laughs> hit me up. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Just hit me up and don't come with no budgets because I will look at you like mm, this. Exactly. What? Don't come with no budget. <laughs> Why not? Because you that's gonna crazy. You're going to me your budget? Yeah. I have to come with my own budget. No, I'm saying you come with your budget. Oh, okay. Period. Okay. So people come like, oh, I don't have a budget. Oh, okay. Never mind. Mm. So you have zero dollars? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I'm confused. <laughs> she knows I get what her you work. mean. I get exactly. what you mean. Yes. Exactly. <laughs> but thank well, you guys. Well, thank you guys though. so much for coming. You guys are very beautiful and efficient. I still have goosebumps from your voice. <laughs> like, you are going to blow thank up. You. And we will make sure that uh, we are in the progress of that. And uh, we're just excited to have you guys. Uh, so. Thank you guys. Thank you. Thanks for reaching. Uh, Thank you guys. We're out.